Welcome to Living the Front Seat Life. I'm your host, Kelly Marie, and I invite you to take this journey with me. We're going to be talking about all things mental health and emotional well being. You see, I am a overcomer. If you are interested in figuring out the path for you to determine how and where you will drive your future, this is the place to be. We get to determine the ride. We may not get to determine the weather or who's on the road with us or if it's going to be a scenic route or not, but we are the drivers. So join me on this ride, living the front seat life. Welcome to Living the Front Seat Life. I am so excited to be here with this inaugural edition, our very first podcast, season one, episode one of Living the Front Seat Life. A big shout out to my producer, Jazzy T, who is absolutely amazing. Oh, let me tell you, she is a superstar. So Jazzy T, shout out. Thank you, because this would be absolutely impossible without you. It would also be impossible without LISC. Now, LISC is an organization. um, They are national. And you might have seen them in the news. They really believe in community development and building neighborhoods and building wealth for communities. They have a fellowship called the Rubinger Fellowship. And I am a 2021 recipient of the LISC Rubinger Fellowship Program. So this program is literally being brought to you by LISC. Thank you so much, Lisk, for seeing the vision for investing in mental health. I know that is not your regular jam, but I appreciate you bringing me along for the ride. And so cheers to you guys. And of course, I wouldn't be here, like literally wouldn't be here without the likes of my mom and and friends and family that have really kept me going. And my story is not unique by any stretch of the imagination, which is why I'm actually here today, because I know that my story is not unique, but I found a way to make it. And that's what living a front seat life is all about. Taking control and driving your journey your way. You want to speed through, speed through. You want to take the scenic route, take the scenic route. You want to go for a, a Sunday drive, nice and slow on a Wednesday afternoon during rush hour. That is living the front seat life. So I have a diagnosis, um, borderline personality disorder. And we will dive deep into that, as well as depression and anxiety. We'll spend a lot of time talking about what mental health looks like, what mental illness looks like. Being a Black woman in America has its own set of pre-existing conditions. But in addition to that, having adverse childhood experience, many of us have them, whether it's abuse, neglect, traumatic childhood, I am uh, the survivor of childhood sexual abuse. And for many people that have the the diagnosis, borderline personality disorder, also have a traumatic childhood experience. So if you equate self-care with that journey, that's, you know, tire rotations, that's getting a tune-up, that's making sure you put the good gas in your car. I don't put the good gas in my actual car, but I try and put better gas in my body. Right? Those are the types of choices that we get to make on this journey. We'll live. And so for me, knowing that this illness has a name is beneficial to me. That's not going to be beneficial to everyone. Right? Everyone may not want to know or even believe that they have a mental health condition or mental illness. But being, um, I'm what you call a peer, and being a peer means that I use my story to help others in their life as they write their own stories. So our time together will be spent looking at this journey of mine, borderline personality disorder, um, mental health and mental illness in general. You know, what is it like to have a diagnosis and then have that diagnosis change? That's happened to me a couple of times, actually. We'll talk about medication. We'll talk about, again, self-care, what self-care is, what self-care is not. You'll hear from mental health professionals who are going to bring their A-game and all the information, right? This is going to be a space where we have honest, transparent conversations about mental health and emotional well-being. 
Now, I focus primarily on women and communities of color, but this podcast is really for anybody anywhere looking to to figure out what their life you know, should look like by way of mental health. What does it look like to get up again? What does it look like to, to take control of the car? What does it look like to drive the way you want to drive? I also will have some surprise guests for you, but it will be good, good. And one of the things, you know, I ask you to, to head over and, and like, share, subscribe, all that stuff on the, the other channels. And of course, here for the podcast, but I'm interested in you and your questions and your topics. What, what do you want to cover on Living the Front Seat Life? Is there a particular illness that you want to talk about? Is there a particular part of the journey that stands out as important to you? I want to know that. So you can email me at kellymarie at frontseatlife.com. Now, what will keep you coming back every week, right? Those real conversations, I think. But only you have that answer. So being here today sharing this space with you, sharing this time with you guys. Now, listen, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've recorded this show four times. No, no, it, 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 this is my fourth time recording the show. So I am determined to get through these 15 minutes today because I have made a promise to myself and to Jazzy T and to you all, I didn't put it out there, that this is going to hit the airwaves on May 17th, and bam, here we are, May 17th. You guys are getting the inside scoop on living the front seat life. But next time, we are going to talk about the components of the journey. What does the journey, when you take a step back, what does the journey look like? You know, in order for us to, to correct the drive, we have to know where the issues are. And so for me, a lot of my issues and Listen, we are not responsible for what has been done to us. We are not responsible for what we didn't know. Um, I'm paraphrasing because it's true. We are responsible for our health. We are responsible for our well-being. We are responsible for the choices we make. We are responsible for whether or not we remain ignorant or whether or not we search for knowledge and truth. So if there are, you know, mama issues, daddy issues, sibling issues, all of that stuff, as a part of your story, as a part of who you are, if you ever said, well, that's just how I was raised or that's just how I, was, how I grew up, that's how we did things. I'm here to tell you that won't fly here, guys. We are about self-correction, right? We are about healing. We are about being our best whole and complete selves. But you can't be whole and complete if you're blaming someone else. For who you are and where you are. Yeah, we're going to get deep. We, we, we're going to go there too. And a little forewarning. You know, um, a lot of our conversations will be unscripted. And, you know, I, I basically would say that the whole podcast is likely to be a trigger warning. I'm just putting it out there. I'm just letting you know. And I say that because as we talk about healing, there may be some things that come up in conversation that were unexpected. There may be some things that, I think wouldn't cause an issue, but for you, it does. And so I encourage you to be honest and true to yourself. If this is not a space for you right now, that is okay. That's living a front seat life. We're going to get more into that too. Even though my focus is mental health, my life is mental health, my journey is mental health. I have to practice what I preach for sure, because I'm telling you with the stuff I've, I've gotten back here, of, of, of caught life, um, I really should not be functional. Maybe I'm not too functional. I feel like I'm, I'm fairly functional. Lights are on, food in the fridge, stable job, you know, no jail time coming up. I've kind of mastered this breathing thing, this thing called life. Another thing that we're going to talk about is consistency and not consistency in um, the way the word has been used. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of talk about, you know, showing up on time every day and, and, and doing extra and being more and pushing and striving and, you know, all of these super positive requirements on life. But showing up, being consistent for some folks is breathing. I was there for many years. I consistently woke up every day. 
Actually, I've slept through a day or two. So I've consistently uh, drawn breath for a long time. That was my consistency. So what is consistency to you? It may be pushing and doing more. That's great. Pushing and doing more may be taking a shower today. Or it may be starting that business. It may be going for your first run. It may be turning over a new leaf when it comes to the food you put in your body. Consistency is going to be different for everyone. So I don't want you to look around at other people and see what they've done this last year and wonder why you didn't have that you know, vision to start a new fill-in-the-blank or you didn't clean out the attic and repaint the house and learn how to bake bread. Maybe you spent the last year just breathing and that's okay. And this is about more than COVID. It just happens to be that we are, are you know, a year and some change into this thing and, and things are starting to, to turn around and open up again. And maybe there'll be time for grieving because a lot of folks haven't had an opportunity to do that. So that's what living a front seat life is about. And that's the journey that we're going to take together. So again, I gave you the email, Kelly Marie at frontseatlife.com, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, The Front Seat Life. Look for my face. That was me doing the side to side, like you could see me, you know, like look at my face. Yeah. So look for me, like, subscribe, share, send me your thoughts, feel free to comment because we are in this together. Now it's raining here today and it's really cold. Old. And I would like for the weather to be much nicer. I don't get to, to dictate that. But I'm telling you, fourth time recording this podcast for you guys. Despite the rain, despite the, the trouble, despite the issue, despite everything that has gone wrong with today. Today is a great day. Today is an amazing day day. And it's an amazing day because I choose for it to be an amazing day. Now, I wasn't always in this place. And so again, I don't want you to compare experiences or, or compare uh, illnesses. We're here. We made it. Let's take that breath together. We're consistent, y'all. So next week. We'll dive a little more into to the components, right? Because I want to make sure we're all on the same page with, with understanding the journey, with understanding the drive. And in a couple weeks, I've got some guests coming. I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, but you're going to have to tune in to find out more about those folks. And you're going to have to tune in to find out more about me, Kelly Marie. So until next time, I want to encourage you to... Consider what this ride looks like for you. And in deciding what this ride looks like for you, what this journey looks like for you, I want to make sure that you're equipped. So we are talking all things mental health, all things emotional well-being, and I need to make sure that you have what you need. If you need someone to talk to, 24-7, 1-800-273-8255. talk one 800 273-TALK. And we'll be talking about some other resources here on the show as well. But I want to make sure that you have that number in your phone. Save it as what it is, National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Or you can save it as, you know, a friend's name or pizza guy or whatever you need to. So until next time, I encourage you to be the light. I cannot wait to tell you guys that story. But be the light. Until you hear that story, I want you to think about what that means to be the light. Maybe I'll drop that next week too. We'll see. I'm your host, Kelly Marie, and you have been listening to Living the Front Seat Life.